And no, it's not what the headlines are telling you. That's where Brainy Bites comes in. We dig deep into the jaw-dropping truths behind the biggest science myths and mysteries. No fluff, just mind-blowing facts that will change how you see the world. If you're tired of boring explanations and want real answers with a twist of curiosity and fun, hit that subscribe button now and join the Brainy Bites squad before the next big reveal drops. In this video, I will be answering what are GM foods really and why you've been misled. The scary myths. Everyone believes but shouldn't. What the science actually says. Prepare to be shocked. Who's controlling the narrative and why you should care? What are GM foods really and why you've been misled all along? You've been told that genetically modified foods are unnatural, dangerous, even toxic. But here's the truth. Most people freaking out about GMOs don't actually know what they are. Let's clear it up once and for all. Genetically modified organisms, GMOs, are plants and sometimes animals whose DNA has been altered using biotechnology. This isn't some horror movie style gene splicing madness. It's precision science. Scientists can insert a specific gene into a plant to give it a helpful trait, like drought resistance, pest tolerance, or improved nutrition. And here's the wild part. Humans have been modifying plants for thousands of years, just not in a lab. Ever heard of Teosinte? That was the wild ancestor of modern corn. It was tiny and barely edible. Over centuries, farmers bred it to be the big juicy corn we eat today. That's selective breeding, the slow version of genetic modification. What we call GMOs today are just the faster, more controlled version using advanced tools like CRISPR and recombinant DNA technology. The first commercially grown GMO food was the Flavor Saver Tomato in 1994, designed to stay fresh longer. Since then, GM crops like BT cotton, golden rice, and herbicide-resistant soybeans have helped farmers grow more food with fewer chemicals. Golden rice, for example, was engineered to contain beta-carotene, a source of vitamin A, literally created to fight blindness and malnutrition in developing countries. But wait, if GMOs are this useful, why all the fear? Because fear sells. Media headlines use words like frankenfood to scare people. Meanwhile, over 90% of scientists agree that GMOs are just as safe to eat as non-GMO foods. Source, American Association for the Advancement of Science in 2012. Even the World Health Organization, FDA, and EFSA, European Food Safety Authority, have all said GM foods currently on the market are safe. Yet despite this, many people still avoid them. Why? Because science isn't as loud as sensationalism. And let's be real. Scientists approve new pest-resistant soybean just doesn't sound as exciting as, are you being poisoned by your vegetables? So the next time you hear someone say GMOs are bad, ask, compared to what? Nature. Because nature gave us poisonous mushrooms, cyanide and apple seeds, and deadly nightshade. Nature isn't always your friend. Science helps make it safer. This is only the surface. In part two, we're diving into the wildest, scariest GMO myths that people still believe. And trust me, some of them are straight out of a sci-fi movie. Two dot, the scary myths about GMOs everyone believes, but shouldn't. If you've ever scrolled through social media and seen posts like, GMOs cause cancer, or eating genetically modified food will change your DNA, you're not alone. These myths have spread like wildfire. But here's the real deal. Most of them have zero scientific evidence behind them. And now to one, myth one, GMOs cause cancer. One of the most persistent myths is that genetically modified foods are linked to cancer. This claim often comes from a now infamous 2012 study by French scientist Jules Eric Cirillini, which suggested rats fed GMO corn developed tumors. But here's the twist. The study was so flawed, small sample size, tumor-prone rats, poor controls, that it was retracted by the publishing journal and condemned by scientists worldwide. Source: European Food Safety Authority, EFRSA. Major health organizations like the American Cancer Society and the National Academy of Sciences have confirmed that there is no reliable evidence linking GMOs to cancer. In fact, a 20-year review involving over 900 research studies by the National Academies of Sciences, Engineering, and Medicine found no greater health risk from GM foods than conventional ones. Source: 
NAS Report on GMOs, 2016. Myth 2. GMOs can alter your DNA. Let's clear this up fast. Eating a genetically modified tomato doesn't change your genes any more than eating a fish turns you into a fish. The DNA from your food is broken down by your digestive system, just like any other protein, whether it comes from a GMO or not. This myth likely comes from misunderstanding how DNA works. While it's true that GM foods have modified genes, consuming them doesn't transfer those genes into your own body. That's not how biology works. Source, World Health Organization, WHO. GMO safety, myth hash three GMOs are filled with toxic chemicals. This one's ironic because GMOs often reduce the need for harmful pesticides. Take BT crops, for example. These are genetically engineered to produce a natural protein from the bacterium Bacillus thuringiensis that targets specific pests but is harmless to humans. This means farmers can spray less insecticide, good for the environment and our food. In fact, studies show that BT cotton and BT corn have reduced the use of chemical pesticides significantly in the U.S., India, and China. Dot source Nature Biotechnology Journal, 2012. Myth 4. GMOs are unnatural and therefore unsafe. This one's more emotional than factual. People often assume that anything natural is good and anything modified is bad. But here's a wake-up call. Nature isn't always your friend. Deadly nightshade, hemlock, and even raw cashews can be toxic without human intervention. You know, and let's not forget, virtually every crop we eat today has been altered by humans over centuries through selective breeding, which is just a slower, less precise version of genetic modification. GMOs are simply a more targeted and efficient way to achieve the same goal. Better, safer, more productive food. Bottom line, GMOs aren't some evil experiment cooked up in a secret lab. They're a tool. And like any tool, how we use them matters. But the myths, they've done more harm than good by blocking life-saving innovations like golden rice, which could prevent blindness in millions of children suffering from vitamin A deficiency. So the next time someone says, GMOs are dangerous, ask them, dangerous compared to what? Science or the stories we tell to scare each other? What the science actually says about GM foods and why it's not what you think. Okay, so we've talked about the myths, but now it's time to flip the script and look at the facts. What does decades of actual research tell us about GMOs? Here's the spoiler. GMOs are among the most studied and regulated foods in human history, and scientists overwhelmingly agree they are just as safe as non-GMO foods. Yep, you read that right. Fuyen, over 900 studies, say they're safe. In 2016, the National Academies of Sciences, Engineering, and Medicine, NAS, released a massive report reviewing over 20 years of GMO data. Their conclusion? GM crops are no more risky to human health than conventional crops. They found no evidence of increased cancer risk, allergies, or any mysterious illnesses linked to GMOs. Source: NAS Report, 2016. Major health organizations agree. Let's talk about the big names in global health. World Health Organization, WHO. No effects on human health have been shown as a result of the consumption of GM foods. American Medical Association, AMA supports the use of GM foods in states they are substantially equivalent to their non-GMO counterparts. European Food Safety Authority, ESSA. Despite Europe's stricter GMO policies, FSA has repeatedly confirmed that GM foods on the market are safe. That's not fringe science. That's a worldwide consensus. Environmental benefits. Yes, really. You've probably heard that GMOs are bad for the environment, right? But guess what? Many GM crops are actually designed to be more sustainable. Here's how. BT crops reduce the need for chemical insecticides, which helps protect beneficial insects like bees and butterflies. Herbicide-tolerant crops allow farmers to practice no-till farming, which keeps carbon in the soil and reduces erosion. A 2014 meta-analysis in PLOS. One showed that GMO adoption led to a 37% reduction in pesticide use a 22% increase in crop yields, and a 68% increase in farmer profits. Especially in developing countries. Source: PLOS One Study, 
2014. So while anti-GMO headlines scream about toxic crops, the actual numbers paint a very different story. GMOs may be part of the solution, not the problem. Case study, golden rice. One of the most powerful examples of GMO impact is golden rice. Engineered to produce beta carotene, it helps prevent vitamin A deficiency, a condition that causes blindness and kills over 100,000 children annually in some parts of the world. Despite its life-saving potential, golden rice faced years of delay due to public fear and political pushback, not science. The science was clear. Golden rice could help save lives, but fear got in the way. Source, Nature, 2019. Golden rice approval. Bottom line, the science is not hiding in the shadows. It's out there, loud and clear. GMOs are safe, effective, and potentially life-saving. The problem is that science doesn't always go viral. Fear does. But if we're going to make smart choices about our food and our future, we need to start listening to the facts, not the fear-mongering. Pull. And this, this is what Brainy Bites is all about. Breaking down the science, so consider subscribing.